Hi everybody, so this is just a quick um, fix for those of you who are having trouble in installing or uh, getting App Tennis Studio to run uh, Python correctly. Um, so the trick is that even though Python ships with a lot of Mac computers, um, it's an older version that uh, doesn't include the source files and that's the error message that you're seeing when you try to um, auto-config the Python interpreter. So in order to get around this, what you're going to need to do two things. One is that you're going to need to install um, an updated version of Python. We're going to target 2.7.3. Um, I posted this link to Piazza so you can see it there. Um, but you probably just want to head for the Mac OS X 64-bit installer. Um, if you have a pretty modern Apple computer, then this should work fine for you. Um, so you want to download and install this and you're going to know that it was installed correctly because if you pull up a terminal window, just go to the spotlight and type in terminal and you're going to see something like this. If you just type in Python, you're going to see it's going to spit back to you the, um, the version of Python that you have installed, right? So my 2.7.3 is currently in here, which is good. Um, and now to get this set up in Aptana Studio and actually point Aptana to those files, I have to go through um, that configuration setup process again. And so I've actually gone ahead and deleted uh, the original configuration that I had uh, so that I can show you guys how this is done. The instructions on this page are pretty good and again the link is on Piazza. Um, the one difference is where you find the um, so if it says auto config right um, so this is actually pointing to um, a bunch of files that I don't want. This is actually pointing to 2.6 so I can hit OK um, and this is going to sort of say, oh, this is where the stuff you want is. And I'm just going to actually say, you know what, I want to add a new one. Um, and so I'm going to call this um, Python 2.7. Um, and oops, 2.7. Uh, and then I'm going to browse here. And this is where the uh, reference web page actually is really useful because it is going to show you um, the exact uh, set of folders that you need to go through in order to get to this. So as you can see here, the first thing, I'm, uh, I go on my hard drive, I'm going to see library. The next one down here is called frameworks. Okay, uh, inside frameworks I look at Python framework. Okay, and in there there's versions. Um, and I want to point at, sorry, at 2.7 because that's what I just downloaded. And then within there, I need to go in the bin folder. So it's like, why is this so hard? Um, and actually, they show on this web page, right, that uh, it's actually this sort of thing, not labeled with a shortcut, but the one that actually has the number on it. Um, and so I'm going to go down here to Python 2.7. And I'm going to click Open. And click OK. And so now you can see it's actually looking at that 2.7 stuff that I downloaded, which is exactly what I want. And so I'm going to have this one be the one that I choose rather than the default Python because that isn't uh, updated. And so now it should go through and hopefully it will successfully find all of the .py files uh, that it needs, which is the stuff that it was missing in your original configuration. Um, so hopefully after a couple of minutes, I will get this running. Okay, and so now I can try, this is obviously just my example from before, but it does look like things are working correctly. Um, so go ahead and give that a shot. If you guys are still having trouble, then we'll see what we can do um, tomorrow. If you are having issues with the computer, please bring it to class. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, that will get you guys sorted so you can start working on your uh, homework tonight. Um, see you all tomorrow.